Hey lads and ladies, I'm the Jawsome One, and welcome back to RimWorld Zombie City. The last video we were finally wrapping up, episode 2, and phase 2 I should say. In, phase two, in episode 2 we were wrapping up, or working on phase 2 and getting that done. What the heck is this thing? Raptor Shrimp, and it is alive. Anyone can be its handler, it has plenty of food. What has it been eating? What are you? Raptor shrimp? A large genetically modified creature, its origins unknown. They are known to make homes in tropical regions, instilling fear among the local inhabitants as those who pass through its territory often reported to go missing, their bodies never found. The few that survived an encounter with these monsters report bullets being shrugged off, the limbs of their companions being torn apart, the statement, the grass, and the statement, the grass has eyes. Raptor shrimps have impressive regenerative capabilities and shouldn't be considered dead until they absolutely, unmistakably are. And they are from the Alpha Animals mod. Okay. I like this creature. But it's got a wildness of 90%. Its trainability is only intermediate, which means it can't do hauling for us. Uh, and uh, that's... that's a, oh, wow. It needs a minimum handling skill of 8. So that, that is likely to shred right through... Uh, let's see... I believe Emmy is the better animal handler. Yeah, she is at an eight. See, I'm only at a four for by, by comparison. For comparison, yeah, no, <laughs> no, that's not a good idea. I'm not sending Emmy our liter literally uh, better at doing pretty much everything colonist for that. But a uh, big thing that I wa forgot to mention, and I guess you can kind of see this. I did as I promised. And I removed the fog of war mod. Right? Because once the zombies come in, I want you guys to be able to see everything that's going on. There does, There is a bit of a glitch going on, though, because I, I still can't see the inside of some of these buildings. It's funny. I was granted ability the ability to see what's in here, but then I can't see what's in this building. So it, it's a bit of a bug, but it's not that big of a deal anyways, because, again, the, the main point of removing it was so that we could see the combat, not so that we could know where other secret... Ooh, wow, that was a lot of strawberries... And a lot of agave. Wow. It's a shame that area is so open. Because that, that would have been awesome if I could have taken control over that. But, you know, you can't get everything, right? That's one of the struggles of this mod. Of this uh, of a challenge like this. Oh. Hey, it turns out we had potato plants growing right next to us this whole time. How did I not notice that? How did I not notice that we had potatoes growing right here when I scheduled us to grow strawberries? I swear sometimes. I, I'm dumb as a brick. Anyways, so we're wrapping up phase two here, and I'm going to go ahead and just scan around the map and just kind of look for anything that might be... Ooh, what are you? Decay Drake. Okay, Decay Drakes are large, winged, flightless lizards that inhabit places with abundance of vegetation. Even though the drakes are carnivorous, they release a nauseous cocktail of volatile pheromones that quickly accelerate the rotting process of plants turning vegetation around them into mounds, mounds of fermented organic matter. It's, uh, this is from our alpha animals, by the way. They will consume these over instead of hunting or instead of hunting for fresh meat and usually get incredibly drunk in the process. Interestingly, the creature has four separate livers in order to process the huge amounts of alcohol. It's not clear whether the drakes are natural creatures or some kind of genetic experiment. They aren't easy to domesticate, but if they can be coerced to accept humans, they might be useful hunting companions, especially if provided with alcohol. Human beings have been known to consume the rotting vegetation in desperate times, but most people would rather starve. Yeah, that doesn't sound very uh, delicious and nutritious. This must be what it is that they drop, this right here. Yeah, fermented rotting mound. So that's caused by the decay drakes. Okay. That's pretty cool. Oh, this thing could be a problem for us later on down the down the line. Yikes. What else is there that's important? Yeah, turrets like these. Obviously, it won't be in the long run because once these eventually these are going to run out of uh, of ammo. And I'm not. I'm actually throughout this series, I'm not going to check if they have ammo, right? Like once the fighting begins and stuff like that. I, I this is just kind of my own personal challenge, right? Because if you're you know, if you've ever played a game like Rust and you're running around, you can't see whether or not the enemy turret has any ammo except to actually let it shoot you. And then that's how you figure out, you know, if, if it'll actually, if it actually has ammo. 
So, yeah, I I'm going to do that. Oh, what the hell? Oh, it's a sculpture. Okay. I was like, what kind of, what kind of workbench is that? Aerofleet. I'm finding all kinds of new things. This one's also from Alpha Animals, which probably explains why I don't know what half of these things are, because everything is Alpha Animals. A small floating gelatinous creature. You know, it looks like the jellyfish from um, from Risk of Rain 2. That's, that's totally what this is. Uh, I refuse to accept anything else. It's it's the jellies from, from Risk of Rain, from the Risk of Rain series. All right. Propelled by the hydrogen it collects from water and various plant matter, these squishy creatures wander the lands aimlessly bouncing off objects. One of the few rare creatures around here that strangely is not for human blood. Isn't that nice? Aerofleets are genderless and reproduced by strivulation, a form of asexual reproduction. Okay, that's pretty cool. What else is out here? What the hell? Gigantilope? Gigantilopes were once designed as bigger, more powerful variants of the muffalo, an ideal pack piece that, ba p p p p p that carries more weight than their body mass would usually allow. While they are mammals, gigantilopes have pneumatized bones, meaning they have hollow spaces in them. Pneumatized bones are strong, dense, and sturdy without being heavy, right, because they're hollow inside. A gig the gigantilope has a variable carrying capacity set by their genome at birth, and colonies around RimWorld have been breeding gigantilopes for decades to achieve the perfect specimen. So they're, they're very easy, yeah, they're very easy to, unfortunately their trainability is simple. I think that means I can't even tell them to go out and attack people. So they're, they're just good to domesticate and keep around uh, because they generate heavy fur, which is great for the winter. They actually process liquor, which is nice. Uh, and then their wildness is also pretty low and their minimum handling skill is four. So I could actually have a what's-her-face come over here and try to tame one without it being a problem. They're not very good fighters, though. And chances are in the zombie apocalypse, that thing probably wouldn't last very long once the fighting starts. I'm going to have, I'm have to keep up with a lot here. You guys realize that? I'm going to have to keep up with this entire map because zombies are going to come in from all over these edges. The only place they're going to avoid is hopefully where I set up uh, these standing lamps because apparently light is supposed uh, light in this mod, right? And this is a, a detail that I set with the Zombieland mod, mod is that they're supposed to stay away from areas that are lit up. They're not supposed to spawn anywhere from here all the way up to about here so yeah uh, hopefully they, they won't be a problem for me but if they will oh no <laughs> if they if they are gonna be a problem I'm, 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 I'm gonna be in for a rough day but yeah back at the back at the gameplay here oh there's a little turret buddy out here all by himself I'm not gonna claim it it's just gonna run out of out of there are a lot of pod launchers sitting out here oh you can go in and out of doors well good for you also you know what i was really curious what killed this thing because nightlings yes yeah, it's a nocturnal animal so its neck was bit yeah okay it tried to f it tried to hunt the raptor shrimp and got its and got its butt chewed out oh, okay no not its butt but it's its neck chewed out bitten off the whole neck so it was basically decapitated wow these things are tough you know i bet this thing was trying to fight uh the the same the same shrimp or whatever it's called and he he just he just killed it some regular rhinoceros that's not interesting four eyes over here eating a random meal what the man tra man trap really that's awesome Whole body level of sun sunlight. That's awesome. Hey, I mean, reach level four in construction. That's pretty cool. Okay, so a man trap, obviously from Alpha Animals. Project Epricus was a classified scientific endeavor on one of the Rim Worlds, aiming to discover new ways to fight the mechanoid menace using nature. The man trap was created as an attempt to weaponize a mutated Dionea muscipula, Venus flytrap, by implanting concentrated formic acid spit launchers on its jaws. The strong acid was theoretically, theoretically, don't you mean theoretically? Theoretically, powerful enough to corrode the plasteel on mechanoid carapaces. Cara, carapace, whatever, however you pronounce that stupid word. Project Apricus was invaded by a huge mechanoid 
host shortly thereafter, most of its personnel slain, and most of the projects left to fend for themselves. Right. Okay, so that's, that's pretty cool. I don't, I don't want to cross its path, but that's pretty cool. You know, seeing all these really dangerous animals here, uh, here kind of makes me a bit glad that I'm just walling off for the beginning. So, wow. Oh, look at that. Raptor Shrimp is actually heading right this way. So if he ends up living with us in our base, I'm not sure how I'll feel about that, because it probably could end up trying to kill us. It will eat raw meat, corpses, animal products, meals, processed foods, and kibble. So, uh, yeah, if we don't give this guy food if he ends up in our base, we're screwed. He'll, he'll eat us. He'll try to eat us. And then we have the little capybaras. Little capybaras, they're kind of cute. But yeah, all right. Getting back into the gameplay here. Get, I, I said for the 5,000th time. What is this? Oh, right, it's Insanity Lance. I don't, I don't mind that, I don't care. Uh, advanced Components, Hyperweave. I'm just looking around to see if there's anything good. Why is there a random... I'm very... Hmm. I'm very confused, by the way. There's a bunch of uranium, uranium over here. That's nice. Yeah, they're both doing pretty miserably on food. Emmy, your Emmy's mood is way worse. Emmy, I'm gonna have you real quick grab something to eat. Yeah, so now you're gonna go eat it too. Uh, that's that's fine. That's okay. I'm okay with that. Look at that. These batteries are gaining charge. The dirt walls are getting built up too, which is going to be, you know, amazing because, well, obvi for obvious reasons. Actually, I may go ahead and just cancel these, right? Because I only need the first initial layer built. And then once that first initial layer is built, then we can uh, worry about other things. We never removed that. I really want to, uh, never mind. Oh, wait, is that more? No, that's silver. That's silver. Who cares? Nobody cares about the silver. We're, we're walling ourselves out. Do you guys realize that that's what you're doing? Do you two realize? Do you two understand? That's what you're doing. You're about to wall yourselves out. Uh, no, you don't need to wall yourselves out. Come, out. come around here. Come around to here. Okay. Come around to here. There, now wall, wall yourselves. Oh no, you two. Okay, so we got we got this lady called McKaylee trapped in here with us. She has a shotgun, so that's concerning. Uh, maybe I'll even wait till stage four begins before letting these people out. Cause look look at all the people that are trapped in here currently. These are a lot of people that would cause us a pretty big, you know, issue. Like no no kidding. Hauling uranium high-tech research bins from where? Don't don't I already have a high-tech research bin? Oh no, I never I never hauled it. Yeah, okay, that's what you're working on. And you are just building some power conduits. Okay, you know what? That's perfect. <laughs> go for go for that. I'd rather you do that than try to build any of these walls right now. Oh, that's where it is. Oh. Oh, never mind. That's not that important. Emmy, honestly, I would rather you just build these dirt walls. There we go. Oh, I still have to chop down a tree. <sighs> Lame.
Allowing some more steel to power conduits is perfect. Awesome. Actually, there we go. Build, build, build me all those dirt walls, please. Hey, Four Eyes is here. Awesome. You know, honestly, I could see about trying to sell some of this stuff like the Yayo here. Because, see, I can claim it, right, by placing just a zone. You know, just a zone, right, right there. And if I place one, say, on other things that I'm obviously never going to get access to that I don't really care about. Oh, yeah, if I do this, then that, that steel automatically becomes mine. So I, I can buy all this stuff from, him, from her. The game won't be mad at me. Uh-huh, what else? Oh, here we go. There's a bunch of stuff. Yeah, random silver. Sure, that, that's, sil that's silver. That's now mine. It doesn't matter if it's forbidden and technically owned by the colony. Now, now it's mine because I put a z zone on top of it. This is my way of working around that, of working around, uh, you know, my, my, my lack of whatever. That is a lot of stuff, though, that I have. Yeah, this, is, this is a lot of stuff. That's a lot of money. See, the the reason that I think it's fair that I'm doing this, the only reason is because of the fact that um, that when raiders come in and attack, they're going to treat everything on the map as though it's already mine anyways, even though picking it up angers the faction with me because it isn't actually mine. So that's kind of, that's the reason why uh, I, I think that doing this is fair. That's the reason why I'm, I'm willfully choosing to do this. What is that thing? I'm going to claim it. <laughs> I'm going to pretend like these things are mine. I can delete all these later. Just like, you know, little random things like that here and there. Uh, okay, is that everything that's random, that's not actually mine, that I want to pretend like it's mine. I sure claim that. Claim all of these things. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, claim these. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm, I'm going to sell that, mo most likely. Probably that as well. There you go. Okay, let's see if that actually... Let's see if this actually works, though. Let's see if this this strategy is actually going to do anything for me. Ja, why are you bothering to place this on things outside your colony? Because I can. Your social is a 7. Mine is an 8. You know what? I think that's reasonable. I think eight is actually pretty reasonable, knowing what I'm going for. All right, trade, trade with four eyes, me, do it. Okay, so it is trading the silver as mine. That's awesome. So I can sell you the flake. I don't want to sell the. Oh, that's a soothe pulser. Okay, I don't really want to sell the psychic shock lancer. I don't really want to sell that either. Uh, Pioneer helmet. This is much more expensive than a protective helmet, so let's see what, what's so good about it. Oh, this actually this actually is pretty good. Funny thing is I can buy pretty much anything right now. I can buy pretty much whatever I want. Buy and sell as I choose. So first of all, I'm going to sell all of the neutro emine that I have, right? And then I'll buy more of it later. Because right, you can't buy and sell separately from one another, right? Oh, I think it's treating everything on the map as though it's mine. Because I'm pretty sure there are some things that I probably didn't mark. Yeah, I know I didn't mark any uranium or plus. I did mark a little plus steel. I, I know I didn't mark the... No, I, I did mark a thing of Galatross Homer. I, I didn't mark that steel wall. So they're, they're, they're treating everything on the map as though I already have it and as though it's already mine. So it's probably not a good idea for me to try to sell the medicine. So th this is this is how I get around it. Smoke leaf joint. Go juice is actually like one of the better out of all these other drugs. 
right? Because what it does is, for one thing, it gives recreation, but it gives consciousness. It gives consciousness and it increases your movement, moving. So that it's, it's a great thing to have if you're in combat. Great thing to have. And then this stuff, I think, is just... Yeah, it just prevents infections for how long? Blocks malaria. It must be taken five every five days to remain effective. And 125 of it, I'll take it. Uh, chem fuel, I will take all of that as well. Uh, neutral amine, I'll take all of that later. Components, uh, I'll leave it. Now I will buy back all of your, what was it, was it neutral aiming? Uh, I don't need to buy that much. Actually, I don't need to buy any of it. No, you can have it. I'll probably buy it from someone else later. A uh, random cybernetic stomach. A random panic inducer. Brain implant that causes semi-controlled frequent, ooh. Oh, that's something I buy. It's not something I have, okay. Uh, I'll buy your beer. Oh, never mind, that's a lot of beer. I don't need beer that much. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'll buy this as well real quick. And then I'll sell these at first, right? And then I'll buy them off. Then I'll buy them back. So now I'll buy them off you again. So now they're mine. No? No, they're still not mine. Wow, and there I was thinking this would be a, a good way to go get around uh, the mod, but no, I can only sell them. I need to delete all these. I need to delete all the stockpile zones. Uh, how do I access those? Manage areas? No. And there's no way I can like manage zones. I, I would literally have to do this everywhere. Let's uh, shrink down the size of area one. Something more reasonable. And by something more reasonable, I mean literally only the areas that are within my territory. It's like, don't touch this. Don't go out outside the walls. Just don't do it. Please and thank you. Yeah, okay. No, actually coming down here is fine. Okay, is there another near me like in the base pretty much no that is it that is all damn it all right emmy you build that wall we uh, once you build that wall we will be sealed in oh and that wall <laughs> and that one Oh, build the bed, you dummy. It's for me and my girl. Seven hours left, and then the zombies will start to roll in.
Yeah, okay. Moving, where are you? Oh. Uh, congratulations, all of you idiots. You're stuck in here with me until you're dead. Or until something else happens. I, I really want to try to keep four eyes alive as long as possible. So it looks like we're not really doing uh, zone three all that, all that crazy. Hey, you can move the turret. Because I really don't want to worry about uh, what will happen to us if zombies spawn up here. Um, maybe you shouldn't be over here, but uh, you know what? I'll, I'll handle it. I'll be okay with that. I also need to look at who's going to be a potential danger. So you're going to be pretty dangerous. Four eyes alone is actually pretty dangerous. Oh, hey. Why are you going to bed? I told you to build that. I guess you are pretty tired. Yeah, you need to finish the job, man. Hauling only 10 wood? An Emmy? And you finish the seal. I can't be having zombies break in while you two are slacking off. You get to it. I, I am very glad though that I'm building this. All right, now it's official, we're sealed in. Okay, Emmy, so you can go to sleep in a proper bed. Why don't you work on some other things? There you go. Emmy, why don't you work on that, huh? There you go. Emmy, you're awesome. Okay, 36. That's enough for about six walls. No, wait. No, seven walls. Stop. I keep wanting to sleep on the floor. Unsightly environment, yeah, of course. Now watch. As soon as he sits it resting. I don't want to force you to do all of those things. I can just cancel that though. Increase radius. What does that mean? Oh, increase the radius for forced work. Current is zero. Yeah, because zero, zero means there's no limit. I think I remember that from the mod. Oh man, that's, that's still not going to be enough. That's going to be almost enough, but not quite. Need material wood. Yep. I figured. Do deconstruct that for me real quick. There we go. Wait, who is the better construction worker? Me. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Go to bed. Get some sleep. This is... Chief died. Okay. They're still they're still hostile with us, so why should I care? Right?
two hours. Two hours. And then we can find out whether or not my efforts were in vain. Oh no, that area is open, isn't it? Who is in better rest? Emmy is in better rest. Emmy, I'm sorry. Somebody needs to get this done before the zombies come in. I need the light to be reaching out to all these areas. And there's only two hours left. Actually, I think daytime will hit before you finish. So that I'll probably we'll probably be okay. Uh, I don't want to risk that though. Why did you go inside the door to pick up the door? That really wasn't needed. <laughs> it really wasn't. But that's what you did. Emmy, 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 Emmy. You're a strange lady, Emmy. Yep, zombies can spawn now. Okay, have any start? Have any showed up yet? Uh, no. Oh yeah, wait. We'll get a reader. That's right. We'll get a reader. There will be a marker. None yet. None yet. Why not? Hmm. Make it two hours. There we go. Okay. I don't really get why we aren't seeing a zombie yet. It's still kind of technically nighttime. Kind of, sort of, technically. But none have actually showed up yet. I could try forcing a zombie breakout incident. And just see if any will pop up. Okay. Alright, you guys can now do whatever. I don't need to worry about you anymore. At least not for a little while. Well, that's not true. I still need to worry about getting you food. Could run out the walls real quick and grab that. Could see about buying some from Four Eyes. I don't think she was selling any though. Oh, people are still able to come in. No, they're not. Never mind. Never. No, they're not. I'm gonna actually claim it just so I can put like an X on it, just to kind of, I don't know, serve as a, like a key to me, like, hey, you're actually fine. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any food in the base. Oof. Let's uh, let's do something about that.
Dan, what do you got? Nothing. <laughs> Dan doesn't have much of anything to sell. Okay. Beer does contain some nutrition. <laughs> Emma, you want to snack on some beer? No, you're, I mean, your mood is bad, but it's just because you're hungry. Look at that. Can I go here? No path. Well, why don't you real quick deconstruct that? You sure like to sleep, don't you, big guy? No, don't consume the fermented, rotting plant. No. There you go, not a single other uh, person went in. That's good. What was their relationship with us again? It's gonna be some weird number. Yeah, there they are. So we're at negative 23 with them.
which one was better? The Pioneer helmet was better, right? 88% versus 136. But 32 armor versus 45. Okay. This is better, yeah. 80% against heat, though, versus... Versus everything else. Yeah, okay, he's gonna leave this stuff out here. Good. Four Eyes is no longer selling. These people will randomly shift between who's selling and who's not. I didn't realize it worked like that. I'm just saying, I had no clue. Picked up like everything. Oh, okay, this guy's killing a uh, monkey. All right. All right, you have fun with that, Decay Drake. All right, these guys, <laughs> these guys are starving themselves out. What do they? What do they eat again? Vegetables. Okay. They only eat grass. What is that? Oh, it's a coat. Nice. Wait, there's cigarettes. Why wasn't I able to sell the cigars? Oh, dude, a guy was just straight up eaten by this thing. Right? That had to be what killed him. Yeah, look at that. This guy was eaten. Stabbed, bitten. He was just chewed to pieces by a raptor shrimp. Man, that's insane. It's awesome, but that's insane. Anyways. Looks like we have Dakite blocks the most. Dakite. Dak. What is it? How is it pronounced? Dacite. D. Oh, okay. I just built straight up. Twenty-five. Okay, I can only build one more. Actually, actually, you know what? Then I guess these three will be uh, sandstone. Sandstone. is that? Oh, that's you. 
You know, you're killing it. Oh, wait, what is this? Animus Fox from Alpha Animals. The Animus Fox, Vox, Animus Vox is a small canine with latent psionic abilities. Like all canines, it's quite intelligent for an animal, but not intelligent enough to properly use psionics. It will, however, quickly bond with human beings and reach with his mind to make everyone happy that treats it well. Animus Voxes can often be seen on the rim as pets, though some wander the wilderness looking for someone to bond to. So yeah, they have very low wildness. Uh, very unlikely to take revenge if you fail to tame them. Their trainability is advanced, so they will actually haul for you. Really sucks that we weren't able to get this guy into our colony. Man, that would have been great. That would have been a great creature to have as an addition. You know, that would have been an amazing creature to have added. Oh, these guys are going to go crazy, aren't they? They're going to go crazy and start attacking, aren't they? Because they're out of food. They're going to like start bashing down walls and stuff like that. And break out. Whenever that happens, I think I'll just... Uh, I'll just delete a dirt wall and let them out. Whichever dirt wall they're nearest to. And if they won't do that, then I'll just simply have to repair the walls as they're doing that. They're just vomiting. Oh, yeah, they're... They're straight up dying, aren't they? No, they're dying. They're they're drinking the alcohol. They're drinking the alcohol, all of it, and it's just leaving them in intoxicated, and knocked out. That's so funny. Oh, that's so funny. Actually, I can I can leave that turned on. I believe it was already turned on down here. That's so funny. Okay, why are there no zombies coming in? It's obviously dark out. It's 18th hour of the day. Should be coming out. What if I change it to from dark from darkness to all the time? Just do that real quick just to see if they'll come out. Let's see if they'll start showing up now. All the time. Doesn't matter the, the lights being out here doesn't matter anymore. I'm, I'm not seeing any of them spawn. None. Not a single one. Why? Okay. Uh... Maybe I just need to go into dev mode. Oh, turn that off first. There you go. When it is dark. So now they, they're not going to be so likely to appear over here. Oh, I, I can only build this up this far. Okay. Let's, uh, let's start an event then. Open debug logging. No, open debug actions. There we go. Do incident. Infestation, no. No. No, this isn't anything. All right. What else? There's incident with points, no. What can I do? Do incident in the world. Anything here that's related to zombies? Mercenaries, bandit camp. Yeah, no, this has more to do with like, yeah, okay. That has more to do with the, uh, nothing, <laughs> I can't speak. Oh, here we go. Tools, zombies. Random, spawn random zombie. Zombie incident. I don't want to spawn, I want to cause an incident. Right? I don't want to like spawn them and then pick a place. Spawn zombie standing, no. I just want to have an incident start.
I mean, yeah, I don't know why they're not coming in. But you know what? I want to see the fun of them attacking one of those big old monsters. Something like that giant snake there that I've, I've never looked at. Yeah, you know what? There we go then. Right here. I, I don't see them. Yeah, here they come. So before they actually show up, what the hell is this thing? A Titan Naboa. A Titan Naboa. Uh, okay. Wild Predator. Long extinct giant reptiles. Brought back to life as a part of the Megafauna Project. The largest snake ever discovered. Titan Naboa is capable of swallowing cows whole. It can kill even medium-sized animals in just seconds and should be stayed away from at all costs. All right. But yeah, here come the zombies. Where will they go? What will they do? I doubt they're going to head this way. There's even a nightling over here ready to try and eat them. Good. All right, here they are. Oh yeah, we're, we're even getting some of the special zombies. Ah, here we go. Now some of them are already enraged. Alright, let's see how well they do. Okay, someone's already taking shots at them. It's you, Kiri. Kiri, yet. Yeah. She's already, she was already taking shots. These rhinos don't seem to understand what's the depth of the situation. Yeah, there we go. Another rhinos get it. They're like, uh oh. Any minute now, these rhinos are all gonna pretty much rage. Kiri, you better run, girl. <laughs> these zombies may be easy to kill, but there's a lot of them. Uh oh. Uh oh. I got a. I got a debuff. What is this? Exception and job driver tick. For melee. Object reference not set to an instance of an object. Oh no, we're having. Oh boy. Exception ticking for a door. And then job driver. For a pawn known as D. I don't know who D is. Who is D? Why should I care about D? He's not anywhere near any of this. So who is D? Oh, D might be the zombie that's attacking her. So the rhinos are trying to fight. I'm amazed the rhinos haven't already, you know, raged. Oh, geez. What is that? Was that the electro cannon turret? What? What was that? That was awesome, but I don't know what that was. Okay, this thing is fine. Yeah, good luck, Kiri. <laughs> Kiri's dead. She's done. A cassowary, there we go. Is that Miranda? What was that Miranda's doing? Smoke grenades? No, that doesn't make sense. Was it her? Molotov cocktails? No, that doesn't make sense. Was it Nielsen? Why are you injured? From a charged rocket launcher. Okay, that's what was doing that. So who has the charged rocket launcher? Maybe it was my, maybe it was my man Boyer over here. Well, I used to have a, a rocket launcher. And now I don't, because I'm dead. The, the zombies attacking up here, it's so hard to see with all the rain. So Babis got hurt. Babis. Yeah. Dude, they're hurting each other more than they're hurting the zombies. Rhinos Ah, here we go. The rhinos are finally revenging. Oh my goodness. Oh, these zombies had the nerve to take out like a... Like a colonist, basically. 
Oh my goodness, look at all this stuff. It's all gonna burn because that one zombie happens to be on fire now. Okay, it's just random animals and nightlings, okay. Yep, everything's starting to light on fire now. Even with the rain here to help put everything out. There's something really funny and ironic about how roofs help, sp help fires spread. Even when the rain is there to take it out. Ooh. Cassowary was finally killed. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna eat it away. Something is trying to shoot. What? Is it this thing? Oh. Oh. Oh, there must have been grenades that caught on fire. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Critical alert. Fire. Fire. There's a fire. Everyone freak out. There's a little fire. Oh, boy. Triple, a triple rocket launcher is going to burn down. What beautiful timing. Hey guys, you need some more food? We'll distract the zombies one way or another. Okay, they broke through this door. There's a tank zombie. They're gonna eventually break through that door. Boom. Roofs collapsed, yep. I mean, not that much roof actually collapsed. Rapa, are you gonna realize what's going on here and throw your Molotov cocktails? Because you need to realize it pretty soon. There's some... Actually, I don't see any zombies near you. Yeah, you're probably fine. Oh, you're not, you're not gonna be fine for very much longer, though. <laughs> Literally, there is a tank zombie right here, man. You should probably do something about that. But yeah, look at this. No zombies are spawning. Oh, where did Rapa go? Did Rapa die? Where did he go? Where is he? The man known as Rapa has vanished into the... Oh, there you are. Oh, you went in here and we... I don't... Uh, the, the glitch means I still can't see what's in there. Okay. How is this able to light on fire in the middle of the rain? Uh, Miranda's dead. Goodbye, Miranda. Oh, goodbye to whoever that was. Mitsuya, what are you up to? You only have a knife. Good luck. Oh, Griffin. Oh, no, poor Griffin. Poor Griffin. She's not even armed. She doesn't even have a gun. Yeah, get out of there, Griffin. Get out of there. Oh, yeah, you've been bitten. Yeah, you better get someone to tend to your wounds. Uh, I can't see what's in here. Oh, there's Rapa. Rapa, where'd your... Where'd your explosives go? What about you, Jackalope? You're not gonna help? Wow, the colonists are utterly useless against these zombies. How have they been able to survive this long? Oh uh, yeah, there, there goes Bob's. Hello, Lude. But hey, they've taken out half the zombies, though. They've taken out a hundred. That's actually pretty good. That's actually really good. But yeah, I don't get why uh, I don't get why the mod isn't working, though. Why the zombies aren't spawning? I'm gonna look into that. It's probably not uh, anything too major. But I'll look into that and get it fixed. Hopefully, without having to remove any mods. Dear customer, for your first mercenary order, I don't care. I'll wait for them to kill off the rest of these zombies, though, and then we'll we'll call it the video. Hey, all right. 
And my people, of course, are having a, a nice lap of luxury because they're actually prepared. Oh, okay, I got super concerned for a second there. I thought that this was... No, it's fine. Yeah, I'll be allowed to grow. All right. Go Ripper. He's duking it out with these zombies. And there's Alekio being useless. He even has marine armor and he's not helping his boy out. Honestly, I think that flak vest is the only thing that's been keeping him alive. Ah, uh, yeah, the zombies are finishing him off. Yep, snack time. Le day. You better wake up. Oh, Alekio is walking right out into plain sight of the zombies. Some of them are some of them look like they might be interested. No? No. Leslie and, and Angle are going somewhere they they should be avoiding. Uh yeah, you're gonna bleed out and die, probably, Miss Griffin. But Richter over here. Richter is actually fighting them now, I think. I think he was. I think he just fired a couple shots. Somebody's... Is that you, Ducky? No, that sounds like it's... Uh, the shooting stopped. I, I wanted to know who it was. Yeah, that charged rocket launcher hurt more of their people than it did the actual zombies. I wonder what that was, though. The, the shredded... The charged rocket launcher that was doing all those cool effects... Oh, Rapa. Yeah, he's actually being eaten. They're actually eating him. Wow. Oh, you got it. You got hit. Yep. I told you to pay attention to the day. I tried to warn you. Their people did not wake up in time. By the way, speaking of their people, how are you how are these people doing? No food, so they're probably dying. Malnutrition. Yeah. Oh, hey. Four, as soon as Four Eyes walks into a building, I need to try and uh, see if I can like feed him or something. You know, it's so weird to me that none of these guys ever like attempted to try and, you know, uh, plant the damn strawberries. Why? Why haven't you? There's no reason why you why you haven't. Oh, wait, what? Oh. Okay, so this is where I, all the zombies are. On the map. So I like how it's showing us zombies in areas... At least I think it is. In areas that we probably can't see them. Interesting, that's super helpful. Okay, so there's one just hanging out up here. Oh, Nil. Or Kirill. What a baller. Move! There. Select the guy. Yeah, he's gonna get bit before he realizes that he should be shooting these things. It's almost like a faction thing. Like, these guys don't realize they're in danger. No, it's not a faction thing. It's... I don't know what it is. I don't know why they're not all just going all out and attacking these zombies. I really don't. It doesn't make any sense to me. They are taking them down, though, one by one. Dude, Dolly here. He's basically fighting them all off by himself. Oh, an electric zombie. So they do start fires. Yeah, electric zombies start fires. Look at that. It literally just lit a fire... And then it walked into the fire, got lit on fire, and then it died. <laughs> uh, it's really funny, but still. Oh, no, Krill. Yep, see, I told you. They, they have to get bit before they realize they have to fight these things. You must have been hit at some point. No? Maybe you saw someone get hit. That's a nice gun. 
Oh yeah, Isla here is smart. You guys should learn something from Isla. Shooting level three. There we go. And Dolly over here is just a beast. Dolly was never bit either, actually. Is that a... That can't be a boomer. I know I had them removed. Awesome job. You know, it's good to know that electric zombies, they can be killed by things other than just melee. They can be killed by fires that they light that they light themselves. So that they'll basically kill themselves. And they can be killed by uh, by melee. So th there is a way. So if we get something like those Molotov cocktails, we'll be fine. Oh, good luck against... Good luck, Leslie. Just, I gotta say good luck to you. Oh, yeah. I remember the ones with construction worker hats. Uh, they do something. I don't remember what it was they do. I think it's like they can open doors or something like that. Because they, like, retain some memory. I don't remember what it was they, were, they could do. Maybe it was that they could destroy walls. Yeah, okay, he woke up and realized pretty quick. Oh, rip Kelvin. He has a bionic heart. Yeah, he just... Yeah, good luck trying to melee a tank zombie, dude. You're, it's not gonna work. Dude, Isla here is gonna level up his... He, he leveled up his shooting while he was fighting the tank zombie. That's hilarious. It says there's nine zombies left. Nine. There's one way up over here. There's only a few down here. There's one hanging up way over here. Ah, yeah, the ones with worker hats are given like a slightly different color. You see that? I don't remember what it was about them that was so special. Let me see if I can double check over here and see what, see if there's anything cool about them. Mining zombies. Easily recognize... Yeah, we'll start mining if they encounter mountains. Okay, that's what they do. Well. I need to speed this up and see if that tank zombie ever gets to him, huh? Oh, Krill, look out! Krill! Oh, okay, he realized. Whoa! Whoa, who's doing... Whoa. Is that... Yeah, okay. Who is it that's shooting that? Was that Cody? Is it... No, 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 no. Who is it that shoots that? It's the uranium slug turrets that do that. Wow, that's insane. Okay, well, that's good to know. No, it's not the uranium slug turrets. Well, it really seemed like it came from this direction, though. Oh, one guy was... How did you die? From a uranium slug... Can... You died from friendly fire. That's sad. Look at all this good loot you had. But now it's all, like, free for me to take... Basically. Ha! <laughs> the construction zombie that was over here was finally killed. Yep. They lose their hard hat though when they're killed. That's interesting. Oh, you better run, Kirill. He's gonna one-shot you, dude. You need to realize that. You have a nine shooting and you're missing all those shots at point blank. Really? Yep, there he goes. Bitten off, left arm. Hey, Ranger. I... 
Not right now. This is why I don't have friends. I'm just kidding. Ooh, gunshot from a hand cannon. Yep. We got Jordan Peterson over here. I refuse to accept that as your first name. You're Jordan Peterson now. Your left big toe got shot off. Who would do such a thing? All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. I think we've seen the extent of the damage that 200 zombies spawning in instantly will do. It doesn't look like they did that much. They, t they only took out about, what, five or six people? Most of the damage was actually done by the colonists themselves and their massive overpowered weapons, which I, I think were single use. I think that was why uh, when I was looking around to see like, who was it that shot that? And who was it that did all that damage? Well, they, the people didn't have it because their weapons were single use only. But yeah, I'm gonna do a bit of research on this and figure out why the hell, uh, why the hell these effects aren't working. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hope to see you guys again next time. Take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.